Hey guys, it's Lisa from the Shabby Cottage. I'm back again with another snowman craft. Uh, I start with these jars uh, that I get at the Dollar Tree. So you're gonna need a larger one and a smaller one. Uh, so when you pick these out, uh, just make sure that the smaller one fits down inside the larger one and that it has kind of a cohesive look uh, like a snowman um, if you're not careful you'll get the head too big um, but these stars fit perfectly and uh, so I'm starting with the first set and I'm uh, chalk painting it linen white uh, and actually mix with the linen, linen white the, the chiffon cream in the rust-oleum chalk paint uh, I just like that combination and I'm, I'm painting it onto the jar so I do that with the body and the head and I will go back later and put a second coat because um, paint just doesn't cover glass in one coat uh, but anyway I won't make you wash that but I do go back and put another coat on that when it dries okay with this set I'm going to take a different approach uh, so I, while I was at Dollar Tree, I picked up these socks. Um, and no, they weren't staying like that. I like to dip my my fabric in uh, coffee. Uh, so I just had some leftover coffee and dipped it in that, rang it out, and let it dry. And that gives me more of the look that I want. Um, I, I like primitive, as I mentioned before. And um, so most of my cloth that I work work with gets stained. Uh, you could just leave that hole and just push it down in there and it stays really well. But because I sell my crafts, I, I like to cut it off and give it more of a finished edge. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I don't know what I would do without um, hot glue. Um, I don't really know what any crafter would do without hot glue we would definitely not get nearly as much done um, it's just so handy um, and I use this small glue gun I used to use the larger but I went back to the small glue gun because uh, I even have that little Ryobi hot glue gun but I like to use these little cheap ones a lot because they don't get nearly as hot they're hot enough, but I almost never burn myself. And you would think right here that I would be burning myself, but I didn't. And when I was using the larger hot glue guns, I constantly had burns on my fingers. And, oh, I don't know about you guys, but it makes me so mad when I burn myself with a hot glue gun. Here again, you could just uh, stuff that down in there, but I'm going to cut it off and finish the edge with the hot glue gun and speaking of things that i'm thankful for since this is the thanksgiving season i am so thankful that god gave me the ability to uh, craft and create uh, especially during the time of the pandemic um, things have seemed so uncertain and if you let yourself, you'll just dwell on them. And, but crafting is my escape. I love to go and create something and it gets my mind in a better place. And I really think that crafting has saved me lately. So now I have this head covered and you can see that it just fits on there so perfectly. And you see, there's a snowman. Um, you could almost leave it like that and put a hat on it and 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 be finished but we're gonna add all the details and make this little guy a lot cuter so here i'm painting the face directly onto that cloth uh, just the two little circle eyes here um, it's a little tricky to paint on fabric but i use thin socks here and it, it made it so much easier um, it really isn't that difficult to paint on so I'm just painting the little circle eyes here 
I don't want to speed this up because for some people, it's these little faces are a little harder. Um, you could uh, you could Google snowman faces like I mentioned in my last video and and come up with your own. And I'm sure some of you have some little snowman faces that you paint that you just you've developed your own way of painting uh painting them but this is just how I do it and um I've painted so many different styles but this is kind of my go-to uh now here I am doing the little dotted line for the mouth um it's personal preference but this one I feel like will look a little more primitive than the other one uh, because of the, um, grungy cloth, and so I want him to look a little more primitive. Okay, so now I'm going to put that little twinkle in his eye with the white. Uh, guys, when you're painting snowman faces, that's a simple little touch to add, uh, and it makes so much difference. You, you wouldn't think that it would, but it does, and and literally all you're doing is dipping that paintbrush in into your white and putting a little dot now don't get too heavy-handed with that dot but you're just going to dip it down into the white and dot it on there uh, now here i'm painting the face i mean the nose and i don't use just bright orange i like to add a little bit of brown to my orange uh, to give it more of a muted um, primitive look. Um, I know carrots are, are orange and sometimes bright orange, but um, my carrot noses won't be bright orange. I just, I just, I'm not real big on bright colors anyway, and uh, it definitely doesn't say primitive to me. So here I am going to uh, take some buttons. I get out three here, but, but I find that two works better for this little short snowman but i'm just going to glue these buttons directly onto the fabric now i put that head back on just so i can get my placement of the buttons uh, to see what looks right to me um, and then i just glue those little buttons directly onto the fabric there's really no right or wrong way to do this snowman uh, just do what looks good to you um, because in most cases you're just crafting for yourself but even if you're crafting to resell like i do um if you like it most likely somebody else is going to like it too uh, so just do what you like okay so now i'm going to take this uh this scarf and a piece of ripped fabric and um i like to buy my fabric um, print it on both sides because most of the crafts that I do require that uh, you can like you could use this uh, with just fabric that's painted that's uh, printed on one side but then you would have to glue it in place and um, to make sure that that um, to make sure that that lighter side wasn't showing so I just i buy fabric that's printed on both sides. I just, uh, I rarely buy it uh, not printed on both sides. So, um, so here I am placing that uh, fabric, uh, that little scarf onto my snowman body. Uh, now, just think about um, a scarf and how it will lay. Um, a lot of people will glue that scarf on and let it meet in the center and that's not how a scarf lays usually usually they'll throw it to the side and so just glue that down and stop there at the side like i'm doing and then you're gonna uh, glue that other side all the way around and let it overlap um that where you glued the other side and that just looks more like a scarf and uh, little details like that will make a, a big difference in your finished product. Okay, so um, now I just glue that there to overlap. And uh, then you have your little snowman scarf. 
Um, you can make it a little longer if you wanted. I, I just like it that length. Um, I don't like it to drag the bottom. Uh, okay, so I'm putting my little head on here. See that little snowman, it? and he's so cute. Uh, but, you know, he's open on top, so we don't want that. This little hat is an ornament from the Dollar Tree. And um, a lot of their ornaments are just really cute. You can make small changes to them and, and make them not look like a Dollar Tree ornament at all. So what I'm gonna do with this one, because you know I like grungy, uh, and so I'm just dipping a paintbrush into some coffee and I'm just going to paint that coffee onto the hat. Uh, it works perfect in, uh, in making this look more primitive and grungy. Uh, now, I could uh, take that embellishment off the front and replace it. And I do a lot of times. But this particular one, I think, is really cute and, and doesn't really need that. Uh, you can also go back... Uh, if this doesn't make it as grungy as you would like. But see, you can see here, it's, it's grunging it up pretty good. But you can always go back with another coat and uh, make it grungier. But uh, this is working for me. And uh, so I just finish one coat on it. You see that small little step is making a, a really big difference or has made a really big difference in this hat. And so there is one snowman completed. Now we'll move on to the other snowman that we painted. Uh, I missed the footage on this. I don't know how I lost that, but I'm painting this little uh, spool that, um, that ribbon comes on. They come in all different sizes, and, uh, and honestly, you take one side off, and you have your hat. Um, so you could just paint this and uh, actually leave it like it is if you want. Uh, sometimes you'll pull that top off and you'll have to replace it with a little piece of cardboard or something. But I'm going to go a different route with mine because I want to add some texture. But um, So I paint one coat. This black um, covers really well. So one coat is all we need for this, for this snowman hat. Especially in my case because I'm still going to cover it. The only reason I'm painting this is in case it shows through at all. Um, it will have that black base on it. So I probably could have avoided the step altogether. Uh, but I wasn't sure so I just went ahead and painted it. It was a quick simple step. Okay so I let this dry and um, it'll be ready for my next step. Um, so my next step is I take this, the, uh, socks from the Dollar Tree, but these are black. Um, again, you can get them two pair for a dollar. And I got the trouser socks because they're thinner and I felt like that would work better on this. But now I have used even the little fuzzy socks for it and they work as well. Uh, but for this particular one, I decided to go with the thinner. Um, so there's my hat, and uh, I just put some glue on the top there and stretch that little tip of the sock over the top. Now I'm holding it there because I wanted that to dry before I let go of it. Um, and then so you just pull it down there and glue that bottom to the um, to the rim. I don't know that you would even have to do that in this case because I'm going to go back and glue the, the brim of the hat, the sock that's covering that, but um, it's just a little easier for me to work with to go ahead and glue as I go. Isn't it crazy how you can turn this little spool uh, that you would normally throw away into a hat so never ever throw your spools away after you use your ribbon because um, I haven't found and I've, I've tried a lot of things but I haven't found anything that works better 
to make a little top hat. Now, I know it's not a big deal to go to the Dollar Tree and buy those little uh, ornaments, but I know that you've had the problem that I've had, especially lately, and Dollar Tree doesn't always have these items in, and a lot of the crafters, when, once they hear of them, will go and scarf them up. And, you know, you may have one or two crafters that clean a store out, and so um, it's hard to find these items a lot of times. So when you can use crafts that you have or scraps that you have around the house, uh, of course, if you're not careful in hoarding these items, you'll have a hoard that gets out of control. <laughs> that happens to me a lot. And sometimes I just go through and clean out and throw away. But I usually try to keep these hand, these uh, items on hand. Just gluing this down. And you don't have to worry about this being perfect at all because we're gonna go back and add a band around the hat. So um, that's gonna cover everything. But here I'm clipping just that little bit that I feel like will be in the way off and uh, getting it ready to put my little band on. So for the band, I'm just going to use a little scrap of um, a burlap. Uh, you could use a lot of different things, but I, I felt like I wanted to stick with the burlap because uh, it wouldn't compete with the other colors. Um, for me, deciding on that band is really hard, so I like to just keep it simple. Um, again, I don't want it to be too cute. I want it to be more primitive here. So burlap is a good little addition to the hat that uh, when I add my embellishment on top of it, it's just, it's not gonna, uh, I don't know, clash with it, I guess. is uh, That's why I like the burlap. But anyway, I'm finishing up gluing this down here, and then I'm going to get my little scrap of burlap fabric. Um, I don't know. I guess you could probably use um, felt uh, or drop cloth. or Actually, you could use felt to cover this hat, but it wouldn't be nearly as easy as those, um, those socks are to stretch over it. So I'm just cutting a little strip here, however wide I feel like it needs, and uh, and however long I feel like it needs to reach around that um, that hat. And you can see this is just a little scrap here. I, I finally do throw this scrap away, uh, but anyway, I just glue that. And when you're gluing this hat, um, you're gonna uh, put your embellishment where you meet. Uh, it's it's very tempting to put that, I uh, mean, to meet that fabric in the back because you think it'll be hidden, but it's best to uh, let it meet in the side of the front where you can cover it with the embellishment. I used to be one of those who let it meet in the back, and then I realized, why am I doing that? I'm going to cover that. Uh, I'm going to cover part of the front up with that embellishment, so why not let it, it be right there in the front? So anyway, so I've got that glued down, and then I don't, I just take little uh, scraps of, um, of uh, floral and cut little pieces off because it's just, it's hard to find embellishment small enough for these, for these hats. So I just cut little pieces of leaves off, and, uh, and here I've just cut me some little pieces off and uh, I glue these, uh, just kind of let one go one way and one go the other, and, uh, and that kind of gives you a little base for that embellishment. See, I've got this leaf going out to the right, and then I'll, I'll turn the other one out to the left, and that gives me just a little base for my embellishment. Uh, so I'm gluing that on there. And again, thankful for that little glue gun that doesn't get so hot because I can just press it on. I know they have those little things that um, that cover your fingers and protect them, the little silicone things, but they get in my way and I don't remember to get them out and I lose them. And uh, when the when the glue is, is not real hot like this, it, it just, it's a lot easier. So now I'm taking some little berries and 
They weren't always little berries. I actually cut some off of this blue flower here, and then I just painted the the blue because it was shaped like a berry, So and it was the right size. So uh, I always try to think outside the box when you're putting your crafts together because, uh, you know, you can make, you can make your berries out of a number of things. So here I've just got them painted. I painted them ahead of time so that they would be dry. And I'm just going to glue those little bunches of berries onto my embellishment where the leaves meet there in the middle. And as you can see, it's creating an adorable little snowman hat. Uh, I like it even better than the one that's already made. And... And you can put your own little touch to it. And uh, people will be amazed that you made this little hat out of a, out of a um, ribbon spool. So anyway, I have my hat made. And now I'm going to go back to my painted snowman. Uh, a lot of times when I paint jars, I will distress them in the areas that distress easily. With these jars, there's just no, no place to distress. And if you try to rub on these, it's just gonna, it's gonna take it off in a wrong way. You just, you're just not gonna, not gonna work out. Here I'm cutting, I did, I said I throw that scrap away, but I, I've cut little pieces of fabric a little bit bigger than my, than my buttons. And the reason I do this is because I find that buttons, uh, I started doing it a long time ago, um, because I found that buttons don't stay on glass very well. But fabric does, and, um, and then buttons glue on the fabric well. So it, it started out being just a solution to my problem, but then I started liking that primitive look. You don't have to cut these uh, in any particular shape. Um, rustic is fine, uh, and I just cut little rustic squares and glue them on, and then I'm gluing my buttons onto that burlap. Uh, you could also use um, any other kind of fabric that you want. So there I've got my buttons glued on, and I'm picking off those glue strings because I hate glue strings on crafts. Uh, it looks sloppy to me, and um, so I'm just pulling that off. So here I'm setting it onto the thing so I can place, uh, see where my face needs to be placed. Um, and I'm just going to paint that face the same way onto uh, the glass. Now I would speed this process up for you since I've already done it before. But I do, um, I changed the mouth up on this one. Um, I don't do the dots. Um, so, you know, maybe it will give you an idea of how to do your snowman face. Uh, but I do change that mouth up. Um, and I'll kind of let that play through for you at regular speed. And then I may, I think I'll speed it up for your next step. Okay, so there I'm just doing a little wavy mouth. And I'm doing the eyebrows here like I did on the other one. I'll speed that nose up a little bit for you and um, get this step over with for you so that since you've seen it done a couple of times. Uh, so I finish up the nose there and I'm adding uh, the little highlights and twinkles and the eyes. And um, But you've seen all that done before, so there's no need for you to watch it again. There's the little face. And now uh, I'm putting that head onto the body. And see, we have our little snowman. That's a little taller than the other one. He looks a little bit different than the other one. But he still has the same look. Now I'm putting that hat on. And all he needs is his scarf. Okay, again, I'm going to use that fabric that's printed on both sides. Um... I just chose a different color here, and uh, this is a little bit thinner than the fabric I used a while ago, and it uh, rips a lot easier, but here I'm just going to glue it the same way that I glued the other one. Start on that one side uh, so that 
uh, your scarf ends where you need it to there on the on the side and wrap the other side around over that and glue it in place then essentially you have your snowman uh, just put the head on and the hat on and you can even put little battery operated lights inside and have it lit up i didn't light these two up but there they are complete if you like this content please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it really helps and i appreciate you watching have a good day